when you build your rocket and press launch, in the hope to reach space. You press play just to see the whole Kerbal Space Center turn sideways. Hello guys in this video we will be going through all the bugs existing in KSB2. If you guys also get frustrated by some of these, let your frustration out in the comments section below. Let's get straight into it. Some references are from the development side of the game. First one is the pause unpause bug. This bug is pretty harmless and simple. It's just spamming pause then resume text on the screen when pausing the game through time warp. This will be patched in the next announced patch notes. Next, who hates those slow loading screens? Comment and let me know. Next, parts not separating while stage separation. This bug is game breaking. This is due to a common error in game files. From this same game file another bug was occurs. It is rocket wobble bug. Rocket loses rigidity and starts to wobble. If you don't want to wait for update to solve it, you can watch this video in which I show how to solve it. But no need to worry this is a small file bug that should be solved in next patch. Next one is pretty annoying. After pressing go in assembly building, when game loads to the launch pad, it goes to horizontal camera mode every time. But why? I can't understand why it's happening. Moving to the next bug. Apparently, you can't time warp in tracking station in main screen sometimes. I guess some variables trigger this bug while playing. I don't know how big this issue is so, this may or may not make it to the patch list. Next is, game leaves audio sometimes, this is pretty common bug with under development games made in Unity game engine, they need to identify what is triggering this bug to solve it first. This is the hardest part of the tester's job, finding the reason of particular bug is annoying. Next one. Coming to the map view, sometimes the game forgets it has to show the orbit lines, the orbit lines won't show up unless I restart the game. This needs to solve quick, otherwise I won't be able to land on the planets. Next one. The clipping issue. This issue makes a lot of bugs in itself. First one is that bugs from this effect is the landing legs, not the old landing legs, new ones. They bugs when you open at them at certain point, they just blow the ship, or it just forgets it was attached to a ship, it slips through. Clipping is one of the major bugs in all the game engines, and even fully finished games. When parts are low poly and less collision density they can go inside each other. When this happens, game tries to calculate a different level of physics, and goes. Crash. Moving on to the next one. Rockets spinning out of control, unconditionally. When flying, the rocket may suffer from some unconditional spins. This most often happens while using SAS and starting throttling upwards, playing KSB2 for the first time I thought this was me who was playing bad, but I soon find out that I'm pretty good at this game and that was a nasty bug. The next one is, player distance calculation malfunction. When you leave on an EVA, and get some distance from rocket, the game just brings the rocket back to you and clips it into you and everything explodes. When this happened to me first time, I flinched IRL. This is the issue of distance management from the player to another controllable object inside the game. Next is, Kerbals floating on the surface. This is the issue of false collision placement. This happens when the collision is placed incorrectly on the object and it shows as the player is floating on the object. Next is a map bug. Sometimes the map bugs out and no text-based information is shown. It becomes a black canvas. This is so annoying because you have to make a save, close the game and restart the whole game, and reload the save, this wastes a lot of time. Next bug. Is also pretty annoying, but no one expects this to happen. When loading any craft file in KSB2, the ship forgets it was even attached to it, and just slides through. And you have to go through whole process of going back to the assembly building and launching again with those slow loading screens. The next one is astronomical because as a game developer I have seen a lot of bugs but not this one. It's RGB happening in assembly building. You can see it for yourself. It's just weird. No one knows what it is. Moving on to more crazy bug. This one just blows my mind. What in the actual world is this? A whole Kerbal Space Center model floating in space. There is no valid reason for this happening as a bug. This must be a troll from developers. Man, this game is crazy. That's why I love it. The next bug is 
When you think your space bar is not working, but it's a bug when you want to do stage separation, you press space but nothing happens, this is another stage separation bug. Next, there is not any re-entry effect. This is not kind of a bug. Maybe they have left this for more researching, because I think we will get different effect from entering different type of planet environment, but it must be better though. Next and final bug we have is the acceleration bug. When you start your engine and the game don't recognize it, but I can see the fire though. No, this is some kind of variable bug that doesn't update sometime. When you start engine, the engine function works, but the variable that adds the effect of ignited engine to the ship don't work. So you just go down and blow right up. Let's not forget guys this game is in beta early access and it can have as many bugs as it wants. We can't complain because this is an unfinished product. Don't be sad because it's bugging. Be happy because you can play it. Even if it's buggy, the people who don't have the minimum system requirements wants it. But they can't. If you can't play the game, enjoy it. That was a lot of bugs that I found and experienced myself. If you guys understand our efforts, please like and subscribe to this channel. We do appreciate every comment. So do that as well. Thank you guys once again for watching. We will meet you in the next one.